Welcome to the Elevate Media Podcast with your host, Chris Anderson. In this show, Chris and his guests will share their knowledge and experience on how to go from zero to successful entrepreneur. They have built their businesses from scratch and are now ready to give back to those who are just starting. Let's get ready to learn, grow, and elevate our businesses. And now your host, Chris Anderson. Welcome back to another recording of the Elevate Media Podcast. I am Chris Anderson, your host. Today, I'm going to be getting into a topic uh, called serendipity. Now, there is a movie out there with John Cusack uh, called Serendipity, and one of my favorite rom-coms out there, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's the cast. Um, I, it's just something about it. I just really like this co- concept, um, which Serendipity is the magical force that shapes our lives and businesses in unexpected ways. So things happen unexpectedly, um, and you know the, the gist of the movie is he meets a girl, is it fate? Is it not? So she signs a book and puts it in a random gift shop, uh, and eventually he finds it. Uh, yada yada. I won't ruin it for you. Good movie. Go watch it. Um, but anyway, that's serendipity, the serendipitous moments, right? So we're going to explore this topic a little bit, the the principle behind it, and we're going to discover how to intentionally cultivate chance encounters for success. So let's get ready. Let's dive into it. So serendipity is more than just luck. It's the art of finding something valuable or delightful when you least expect it. So in, in life and business, serendipitous moments often lead to breakthroughs, innovations, and transformative experiences. But how can we harness this power, the power of serendipity, to our advantage? One strategy is actually to embrace networking adventures. Attend those industry events, those conferences, and meetups, and do it with an open mind and a willingness to connect with new people. Don't just sit against the wall, be a wallflower. Get out there, strike up conversations, exchange those ideas, and be receptive. Because there could be unexpected opportunities that arise from these interactions. You never know who you might meet or what collaborations might emerge from a chance encounter. For example, you know, I took the chance at a networking event to talk to this individual uh, who was high up in his business, he was doing well, which led to having a great guest on our show. And when that guest came on the show, they realized what we did as a business and immediately wanted to use our services. So without that chance encounter, without going and, and putting myself out there, that guest wouldn't have been on the show, that client wouldn't have happened, uh, and then we wouldn't be able to do that work. So those are just that's just one little example. Another tactic is to cultivate curiosity uh, and embrace spontaneity. You'd be open to exploring new paths, trying new things, and stepping outside your comfort zone. Serendipity often thrives in moments of spontaneity, where unexpected discoveries and connections can unfold. So keep an open mind, follow your instincts, and allow yourself to be guided by curiosity. You know, that gut feeling, following that often time leads to the right thing. Either if you're trying to be in a safe situation or grow. Furthermore, Creating a conducive environment for serendipity involves staying attuned to the world around you. Pay attention. Get your nose out of your phone. Look around you. Be aware to the signals and synchronicities that may be guiding you towards serendipitous encounters. Whether it's a chance conversation with a stranger or a serendipitous discovery online, be open to the signs that serendipity is at play. And that's one thing to remember. Be aware of things around you, like really lean into it. Get your nose out of your phone or your book. Talk to someone on the train or the plane or at the store in the line to check out. Be a human. Be relational. You never know who you're going to meet, the conversation you'll have, and what you can learn from those individuals. Moreover, serendipity is often intertwined with generosity and kindness. By giving back to your community and supporting others in their endeavors, You create a ripple effect of goodwill that can lead to unexpected opportunities and connections. So remember, serendipity thrives in environments where collaboration, reciprocity, and positivity abound. And in addition, staying curious and open-minded is key to fostering serendipitous encounters. Be willing to explore new ideas, perspectives, and experiences. Serendipity often occurs when we least expect it. So maintain an attitude of curiosity 
and openness to the possibilities that lie ahead. Trust in the process of serendipity. You got to understand that not every encounter or opportunity will lead to immediate success, but each experience contributes to your journey in its own way. Embrace the uncertainty and the unpredictability of serendipity, knowing that the most remarkable discoveries often emerge from the most unexpected places. Live in the moment. You never know what you're going to do or what you're going to experience or who you're going to meet if you don't get out there and enjoy the world around you. When I went to the NBA All-Stars to help Apple with their production, if I would have just you know, been so in tune, ingrained in my head and not paying attention around me, I would not have seen Shaq and Jermaine O'Neal and all those guys. Like, so be aware of what's going on around you. I wouldn't have been able to have deep conversations, intriguing stories from individuals I've met on the airplane or at the store. So be in tune to, to the world around you um, because you're going to meet and be able to do some amazing things. And lastly, remember to express gratitude. Because the serendipitous moments that enrich your life and business, they're coming. So be grateful for them. Gratitude fosters a positive mindset and attracts even more serendipity into your life. Take time to reflect on all the encounters and opportunities that you have that have shaped your journey. And express appreciation for the magic of serendipity. In conclusion... This serendipity principle reminds us that life's most extraordinary moments often unfold when we least expect them. So by intentionally cultivating opportunities for fortuitous encounters and embracing the magic of serendipity, we can unlock new possibilities, drive more innovation, and propel our lives and businesses to the next level. But that's all for today. I appreciate everyone listening. If you're out there trying to grow a business or you know someone who is, share this episode with them, like and subscribe. It helps us reach more people, help more people out, and uh, we can make a bigger impact in the world together. But until next time, continue to elevate your life, elevate your brand, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to the Elevate Media Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. See you in the next episode.